Hey, this is Steve Sherman, creator of Power of Process. I've been wanting to do a little demonstration on a view camera, the camera that I always use, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to show you the, the features and the secrets of a view camera. So this is the way a view camera folds up and stores in a backpack. We open it up, we zero out the back, we flip up the front lens standard where that is, we zero everything out, we put a lens on, like you see right here. Essentially now what you have is nothing more than a Hasselblad or a 35 millimeter camera. And what I mean by that is you have a fixed um, plane where the um, lens is and you have a back and you have something that keeps it light tight in the middle. That's nothing more than any box camera has always been since the date photography was invented. The features of a view camera is these front lens standards and rear standards can move such as you see here and these kinds of adjustments can really lead to a lot of flexibility as far as controlling the focus the plane of focus and therefore ultimately what you can can photograph because you can control and change the plane of focus so here we are, we're doing a little close-up now of the camera, and I just want to illustrate uh, from this vantage point exactly what the lens standard and the rear standard, the film standard, can do. So you can see as I move this forward, see how the lens tips? And the lens will go this way as well. The back of the camera can do the exact same thing. Now, it's, it's interesting to note that you may have seen view cameras in advertisements and magazines and whatnot where the thing is all twisted and, and the bellows is, is, is uh, taut with tension. You never use those kinds of movements. So we're going to learn in a later segment just how minor a, a change that you can make to the, the film plane in relation to the, to the um, lens plane and how that pays dividends in changing the plane of focus. So what you see now is I have the camera repositioned to, so that it's zeroed out just like a uh, 35 millimeter. What I want to show you now is what's called a, a swing. So you see me swing the lens standard in the front, I can swing the lens standard in the back, and I can go either way. I can swing it left, I can swing it right. And as we go farther into this explanation, I'm going to show you why it's much better to use movements in the back than it is in the front. I want to take this opportunity right here to interject a little tip that I found very useful well into my black and white uh, career. I was not doing this till my good friend Tim Jones suggested, you know Steve, most of my lenses that I use commonly, uh, I already have shutter release cables threaded into them so that when they come out of the backpack, and it's 10 degrees outside, I'm not fiddling around with a little tiny um, um, screw that has to go into the side of the uh, shutter. It's already there, it's done, and it, it was just a very, very valuable tip that I found uh, useful, and I thought I'd pass it on with you folks right now. Hi, right, so I want to close out this segment on view camera movements by leading into the next segment, which is image circle and lens coverage, and why it's much more advantageous for you to use the rear standard to make um, plane of focus corrections than it is the front standard. I'm Steve Sherman, creator of Power of Process, powerofprocesstips.com.